Good afternoon, St. Michael's community. Um, just want to continue to invite you to tomorrow evening's special mass for the vigil of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Uh, we'll be celebrating mass in the church, of course, at 7.30 p.m. It'll be a Novus Ordo mass, the normal mass, as it were, that you're used to, um, but it will be celebrated in Latin, ad orientum, so facing uh, the crucifix, facing the tabernacle. Uh, so you're welcome to join us for that mass. Uh, we kind of want to invite you to uh, take this weekend as a special lead up to the solemnity of our Blessed Mother's Assumption on this Sunday. Uh, you don't get an extra holy day of obligation, you get it this year, it falls on Sunday, so you get it there. But please continue to pray the rosary. Uh, I also wanted to just do a little moment of, of reflection or catechesis as it were on relics. Uh, I will have tomorrow present the relic of St. Maximilian Kolbe. Um, also I have here uh, St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Francis of Assisi. Um, different relics are in the three different classes. These three are first-class relics, part of the body of the saint. In the case of Thomas Aquinas, it's his bone. In the case of Maximilian, it's his hair, actually hair from his beard. I always wondered as a kid how they got a relic of St. Maximilian when he was burned in the crematoriums at Auschwitz. Well, before he was ever arrested, he was in, uh, came back to the friary in Niepokolanov in Poland, came back from the missions and like a good Franciscan, you can think Padre Pio or something, had the big, you know, long beard and the community barber shaved the beard off, knew this man was a holy man and put it in an envelope or if it were or something like that and saved it. And years later when he was beatified, uh, we, the church then had relics of him. And then of St. Francis of Assisi here, it's the ashes of St. Francis. You also might encounter uh, second class relics. Second class relics are something that the saint wore or used a piece of their vestments, a, a Bible, some, some sort of thing they might have used, a letter they wrote. Uh, and then third class relics, relics which are touched or items, rosaries or something uh, that are touched to, uh, to a first class relic. Um, so a little bit on, on relics. They've been ancient uh, in, our, in our history of the church. Uh, there's some famous relics throughout. Uh, one thing I, I just mentioned to our RCA class the other night is you may notice that at the beginning of mass, Father reverences the altar and kisses the altar. Yes, of course, because that is the holy place of consecration, but also because from the tradition of the church, right back from the time of the catacombs when the early church celebrated mass on the tombs of the martyrs, there is a little relic in that altar of a martyr. We don't know which martyr because the church was consecrated so long ago, the paperwork has been lost to the sands of time, so to speak, but um, there is a relic of a saint in that altar. It's St. Paquita in our chapel altar. Uh, we do know that because that was blessed in more recent times. Uh, so a little, little message on relics. Uh, obviously, as I say, you're invited. Please join us on Friday, tomorrow evening for our 7.30 Mass for the Vigil of Maximilian Colby. Have a good evening.